So hey, wanna welcome to some more fake grand order. We gotta continue with some more interludes. I decided since I don't stream anything today, and uh, honestly, I have been quite under the weather for a very long time, and uh, I'm terrible sorry for that if I haven't had the energy or ideas or whatever I do have when I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know what I do have, uh, so I'm very sorry for that. Uh, it's uh, I'm, I'm trying to fix things, but. Uh, General, when I try to fix things, I break them instead. But, we are not here to talk about butts, even if that could have been a quite a shit topic. <laughs> I, I, we got, we're gonna do some interludes that we're gonna do. And, uh, who are we gonna... I mean, Tiger and Wolf, let's do, let's do Lu Bu. I mean, I've been leveling him up now. Uh, him, Robin Hood, Kukulain, and Nurse Rhymes, because... You know, because, 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 what do you call it? The CCC top event that is coming. So I've been trying to level them up and have them ready, because I do know uh, that they are servants that will be quite of use when doing CCC. I'm not sure why they are important, but I gotta borrow Sakura! Sakura uh, Waifu! And uh, I might as well uh, let's roll with this party. It's probably gonna go well. And it was even Nurse Rhyme there. I've been trying to level up her interludes. Nay, not interludes, but her bomb. Don't think about that. Fool. Make yourself comfortable, Senpai. Here's your coffee. Oh, thank you. I'm actually having some coffee here. And it's not Foo on the mug. It's it's a, it's a cat. But we can pretend it's Foo. Chasing a burger for some reason. Maybe it's Merlin that is he's trying to murderize. Why don't you rest for a bit? Well, about that, there is something the doctor wants to talk to you about, Senpai. Sorry to bother you, so <laughs> no, man, I miss you. I seriously do. God damn it. Fuck. And as to what I need to talk to you about... <gasps> it's him! Him! Berserker! Don't you think it's a bit odd having a Berserker for a guard? Really? You think so? <laughs> well, think about it. A Berserker is a servant that lost its reason, so in a way they can be said to be the most loyal. However, this Berserker is different. Even you have heard of his tales, right? Wasn't Lubu famous for uh, betraying things like that? He's known by numerous titles such as Unrivaled, Flying General, and Lu Bu the Peerless. But he betrayed so many people and became so detested that people called him Tiger and Wolf. Just so you know. That doesn't really say me anything, Tiger and Wolf. Is it something related to betrayal? But I do remember reading about Lu Bu way back that he did... He was feared as, as such a great warrior. Really interesting stories and all that. From the Three Kingdoms and all that. Uh, but I think it was freaking that he was part in, right? I might be wrong, so won't, won't be surprised. But um, the thing is that uh, he did betray lots of people, and didn't he have the uh, a famous horse as well, red hair? Or was it Guan, Guan Yu that had that? I f what was it? I don't remember exactly who it was. What I'm trying to say is, it's not good to have him as your god. It's dangerous, Lano. Yikes, what, was he just glaring at me? Minecraft language! <laughs> I knew it! P please forgive me! Huh? What the? Foo! Wait, this is most enemy attack! Bravo, flying general! Here they come, intercept! He doesn't even have, don't, don't they even give him a voice? Like, at least, you know, Heracles and all of that have like, rawr, rawr. Lubu was like, he has seem angry, he doesn't sound angry. Oh God. But yeah, I, I feel like Lubu is one, I'm actually gonna check on that while I'm uh, doing this. Uh, Let's see. 
Now I'm curious. Red hair. Ooh, he, red hair did belong to Lu Bu. That, so I was right about that. Uh, and isn't... Isn't Red Hair a servant in FGO as well? I think I remember someone showing that way back. And isn't that like... Higher star rate than Lu Bu? And that makes me think like... When the horse have higher... Uh, star count than you do. I mean, it's like Bacon would have more stars than me. But I've, now we know it's obviously impossible to have more stars than me. I have like 24 stars. I'm godlike. If I was in the game, I mean, even uh, Solomon and uh, uh, Gotia would be like puny to me. Puny gods. Or something like that. Fuck, why did I do that? That was a part of my 200 IKEA plan. Don't worry. See? Now she got uh, MP. All part of my plan. Don't, 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 don't laugh. I've been planning this. Indeed you have. But it makes me wonder about the... Uh, I would like, like to see Lubu Rider. Seriously. Why don't we get the Lubu Rider? That would be awesome. I would love that. Maybe it's just me, but I think it would be super cool. I mean, th th I feel like, because this Lubu Berserker... Uh, I mean... He's such a character that I really haven't seen much of. Really, I mean... I have used him once, and I was in uh, Babylonia for this Berserker attempt, where I just used Berserkers. In fighting in Kidu, and of course he was le like level 13, so it, he 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 didn't do too much there. Otherwise, I haven't really seen him and all that. But that, that that is a thing I think is pretty interesting with this event that's coming, like CCC and all that. Is that uh, they make you use servants like Lubu, for example, that otherwise probably would never really be used. If you're not uh, like me, like I like Blackbeard, and we have all our favorites and all that. I think that is pretty neat, and uh, I think that... Oh, I got a bullet potatoes, uh, Eric. Uh, you handsome motherfucker. I actually use Eric a lot, uh, potato, uh, in when I'm farming for embers and all that. I think it's doing great with that. At any rate, I think it's over. No, I'm getting a reading from behind. Rin, be careful! You know... <laughs> I mean, <coughs> doesn't he even have a voice? What? He's engaging enemies already. When did that happen? Now that's what I call unrivaled. Master, let's join him. Wow, that character development is impressive. I mean, at least I think they could have like... I don't know how Lubu would scream. I just remember him from Dynasty Warriors, and he was a fucking madman to fight. He was one of the worst fucking warriors to fight, because uh, he just rode in there like, spank your ass, and was done, and you're like, resting there dead. I mean, he's... When I think about it, Eric, she looked like a boob. Classic uh, Viking shield, though. Though they tend to be a little bit... That, though that's more a buckler, I think. Bucklers are generally smaller, while the classic uh, Viking shield, the round shield, was uh, uh, more round. More round in its shape... shape here. Uh, I think... Wah. That's good, that's good. Like, we haven't done anything, he just stands there like, shield! Then again, when it comes to shields, I'm not I'm not a shield master, there's plenty of stuff I don't know about things. And there's one golem there, why are you there, you little spelunker? I'm gonna send black bear there. Bear! But man, seriously though, I do hope we get more develop- uh, Seriously, I would love more uh, interludes like this. That it doesn't need to be anything particularly big or amazing in that regard. I would just love to have that we get more character development to certain characters that really doesn't get much love in 
Wow, that defense buff really did a lot. My god. Holy crap. What was that for bullshit defense there? That was painful. Okay, just because I'm pissed now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I would love that. I mean, they could make a little bit more like you learn about the servants and why they are as the servants. Well, the historical, how they were in history, but also why they are like this now in the game, so to speak, as servants. I mean, learning a bit of Blood Blackbeard, what he did and what he was in history, and getting to more know about how he is now. Now we do know, of course, that he is a bit of a weirdo, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I say I would love that to get in a little bit more in depth with them. That is why I feel like, as I said in uh, the Shinjuku review video, that uh, Jean Alter was someone I really didn't care too much about, but seeing her in Shinjuku really made her, me like, oh man, I want her because Sun Sun and all of that, but. Uh, I think that kind of things really do a lot to the servants and all that. We finally fought them off. That aside, he's truly fearsome on the battlefield. Yeah, he truly is unrivaled. There's nothing fake about that title. Thank you! Thank you! Mm. Fool! The tiger and wolf, Lu Bu Feng Xiang, huh? Come to think of it, he sacrificed his life for a woman. At least there's more than tales of betrayal about him. Anyway, I wonder which is his true self. His true self. Was that it? That was kind of dis disappointing. I mean, I was hoping like, okay, now we g are we gonna see more about? Nope. That is, I mean, it's obviously that certain servants really get sh get shafted when it comes to this. Um, uh, when it comes to the. Uh, ah, what do you call it? The interludes and all of that, because uh, I guess uh, it feels like it's a point that the more popular character are, the more interludes and stuff like that they get. Maybe it's just me thinking like that. He has betrayed many masters and has survived many battles, but at the end he was betrayed by his own subordinates, captured by Kao Kao, then executed. He's greedy, proud and believes there's no one stronger than him. However, he did trust strate strategist Chen Chong as he could effectively utilize Lu Bu. Chen Chong? Chen Gong! Chen Chong, I'm so sorry for that. Chen Gong! That, man, that would be cool. I would actually like that as a servant, because given this kind of interaction, I would love that. I, said, I would love more interaction between the different servants, you know, like uh, Darius the Third and... Um, Wait, I, I can do this. My memories. And uh, uh, there is the third and Iskander, for example. And then what, another thing I felt like is that... Um, uh, I felt it was like... Uh, what you, what's gonna say? That... Um, uh, there was something on my mind. It really was, Ah, yeah, Berserkers in general have felt very, very... Oh, God, who did I pick there? I don't know. Uh, let's go over that, I guess. Uh, that I feel like many is, um, what you say, many Berserk have been very plain when it comes to their interludes and all that. I mean, uh, Darius Free, I remember, was also pretty much like, Rrr! smack something. I mean, of course, they are Berserkers, so they don't talk and make much sense, but I think they still could do a little bit more. Hmm. Based on my observations, I couldn't detect anything. Um, maybe I should expand the range? Hmm. You're in 1st century Gaul, within the second singularity that's been, been, that's been corrected. Are you sure it's around here, great hero of destruction, Attila? I mean, Altera? Don't call me Attila. Yes, I'm sure it's around here. Someone is calling me here. I'm certain that I felt it. It's a destructive impulse. What's worse, it's extraordinary. Even if it destroys everything inside, it still won't calm down. That was what it is. An impulse, huh? I don't know how to understand a phenomenon that can't, I can't observe with numbers. She probably meant she sensed something similar to that of magical energy. Magical energy? Hmm? I see. I won't deny that, but... 
It's more like a forced command, but more powerful than command spells. That's what I sensed. Forced command, huh? Right, it might be best for us to prepare for combat. Foo foo foo! It seems like it's already approaching us. A collection of the destructive, destructive impulses. It's a servant. If we're just picking that up now, that means... It's hiding spirit from until our arrival. Senpai! Brunhilde? I am troubled. No, she... I knew it. I am troubled because of it. I can smell that person. No, wait. It's a smell similar to that person. Why do I sense it? Why do I think like this? That woman. She must be one of the women who tried to get close to my Sigurd. Oh? You're Brynhild, right? A woman who tried to get close to your Sigurd? Who are you talking about? She's looking at me, so that destructive impulse is directed at me. But I don't remember anyone named Sigurd, hmm? Oh no, Altera, try to remember! Who? What? How do I explain this? It's not Sigurd per se, but someone shared the same origin and led. Yeah, Siegfried! You already met him, Altera. That's right, this has happened before. Well, fuck! Shit happened. Huh? Wait, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused, so let me get this straight. In other words, Siegfried and Altera married the same woman? <laughs> yes, that's right. After I died, my wife, Kriemhild, remarried Etzel. In other words, the great king of the Huns. I heard that the great king also lost his wife. I had no idea about that! Kriemhild. My wife, huh? Wife. Wife. I didn't know you had a wife! I'm familiar with her name, but it feels unrealistic to have a wife. I know nothing except for war and destruction. I never directed my attention to anything else. So it's possible that woman was there for me. Oh, I see. One of Altair's retainers probably played as smart and had to marry for diplomatic, diplomat, diplomatic reasons. How business-like. I do have some thoughts on that, but it's not the place to talk about it. I heard Creamhill used King Etzel for her revenge. What led her to seek revenge was my death, so I'm in no position to accuse the king. Etzel. Foo? Etzel, huh? What's the matter, Altira? Well, the name Etzel isn't bad. It does sound cute. It's like Prince, uh, pre Pretzel, you know? It's not what I meant. It's not... Oh, it's not that. Seems like it is. Yes, it is. Indeed. Foo, foo, foo. It's not. No, oh, that that was cute. Oh, the little murder machine blushing. Do you remember now? Indeed, I do. But I suppose it's different existence or hero than Sigurd. Siegfried and Sigurd. I uh, hear both of them are heroes with the same origin. Oh, oh my! How can that be? That's exactly what I thought. Taking a wife. There is no way it can be forgiven. Well, she is angry. Whoa, this is dangerous. Fuck. Yeah, yes, Senpai, she's always gone into battle mode. What a servant? A battle? No. Fight me with everything you have. Mm, she wishes to fight. Very well, I shall answer that wish. All I can do is to wield the sword of destruction. Come, the Sword of Mars shall crush you. Well, oh, oh, yeah, okay, that happened. Uh, a bit unexpected. Uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't see that coming. But it is as they come around. Once in a while it happens. But yeah, that is why I want to play, um, alt uh, say, uh, Altera. Uh, Faith Extel and all of that, so I get to know more about uh, Altera and all that. And it still doesn't make sense why she's called Altera and not uh, uh, Attila. You know? 
I guess, I mean, I do, uh, from my understanding, the little thing I've heard about it is that she's, in, she's like, fused with an alien and, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. And that is the thing that makes me li a little bit like, oh, dear God, oh my God. Oh, there's Fergus and uh, Beowulf. Who was screaming? Oh, was it you, Kida? Uh, let's see. But yeah, I mean, seriously, I'm feeling like, um, uh, the, um, ah. I find, I'm finding it a bit weird that they have it like that, you know? I mean, when it's saying like, there's, there are many kind of, uh, ah, you know, ideas and rules that with servants, yada yada, that, oh, you can summon this guy, but, uh, somehow we have aliens, and we have other weirdos, and etc, etc. I mean, when it when it comes to Fae Grand Aura, I do feel like they're kind of bending and breaking the rules a little bit however they want to. And I'm okay with that, I'm okay with that. It's just that I feel like, oh there you go, uh, that they could do it a bit more, you know, what am I gonna say? Having it a bit more even. It feels very uneven at times, like, randomly things uh, happen and... Uh, and I'm feeling worried about this. I should probably murderize him first. But I don't have anyone that is effective against him because I'm a fool and didn't pick. Uh, uh, wow. Wow. Wow, you, 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 you guys doing a good job on that one. <laughs> uh, we're gonna stun Brunhilde. Like that. And then we're gonna. Fuck! 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 Uh, I don't know if he will use an MP. I don't think he will, right? He will just use an uh, strong attack, right? Shadow Server doesn't use uh, MP as normal servants, right? At least I don't think they do. I hope not. Not entirely sure, but uh, I don't know. Me don't know. I get him. Hopefully they don't obliterate. And I guess uh, otherwise, I guess I will notice if uh, uh, Fergus Coon will Giga Drill break my ass or something like that. Kaboom! See, that, that went well. Whip with a rainbow sword. Okay, he didn't do it. Okay, that's good to know. That's good, really good to know. See, that went well. Well, Attila is dead. Say, say, do you say that, my good son? I'm happy for that that it didn't obliterate my ass, because um, we're gonna do it like this. Because getting Hector up, and um, since he do he do good damage against Sabres. I messed that up! I, I, I kind of forget! Fuck! I'm apolog I apologize that I'm an idiot. It's why? Why? Did I do? I thought I was smart for once. I shouldn't underestimate how stupid I am, but here I am, anyways. And what do you say, Shanli? Shanli, yo. Oh, yeah. oh, you know she's a rebellious age. She doesn't keep a fuck what her her dad is doing. Oh God, though. Ah, well, almost dead. And Black, we're gonna get the finish, finish blow here. Okita will get the finish blow here. Well, yeah. Some, some, what, yeah. 
defeat Saber. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Getting that is statues. I've been, I've been uh, ascending so many servants lately. So I'm. I realized I started to have a little bit of problem with uh, the amount of uh, statues I need. Oh, what was I doing? I don't know. Don't tell me I was fighting me against you. Yes, I, I see. So that was what happened. I wonder why. It's odd. Sometimes I attack men, but usually not women. It sounds horrible, but yes, most of Brynhild's victims are men. Her no fan feels like it's that way too. Either way, I'm happy we could clear up the misunderstanding. Y yes, it was just a matter of pressing the wrong button. Hmm. Oh? Foo foo. Anyway, I was lucky to fight such a powerful individual. It helped to adjust the aim for my noble phantasm. Foo foo cow? <laughs> okay! Fancy that! Fancy that in... Um... Oh, that, that was something. Ooh. Uh, Decrease defense. Oh, that is nice. That's nice. I like that. My sword. Get it, blue. Oh. But well, I will take a break for now. And I will return with more fake grand order very soon, of course. So thank you for watching. See you later on. And have a continuous super great day.